Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today is another relaxed, relaxed day. And we're here with a very, very, very special friend, Reggie Griffin, comedian Reggie Griffin. Now, Reg here looks like a normal guy. <laughs> <laughs> but Reg started to laugh because he knows he's not. And not only is he not normal, but neither is the fluid that it's in your transmission. We have our 2006 Toyota RAV4. Now, Reg, tell them how many years you had this sucker. 16 years. I bought it in 2006, brand new. It had, I was telling Coach Eben here, it had seven miles on it when I bought it, and that was just demo miles. So 2006. Now, you might be wondering in, in deep, deep thought, what Reg is holding. Reg, would you show him this up close a little bit? Okay, let's do it. Let's bring it in. This right here is 100% synthetic transmission fluid. Now, after we do the ATF fluid change, we're going to talk deeply about what 100% synthetic really means. And we're even going to show these stones over here and how it's different. Now, if you think of Tropicana, this looks like it's juice, but it's not. It's only 10% juice. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly like the ATF fluid that's in your car. It's a synthetic blend. And they can actually call a full synthetic, full synthetic, at only 25% synthetic or more. So the stuff that's in your car is basically watered down, uh, whatever you want to call it. Now <laughs> this here is 100% synthetic. We call this the liquid cherry on the channel. <laughs> and I tell you what, when you see the cherry flow, you're going to know how good it is. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Now coach, how will my car be running? after we do the transmission flush. Your car, Reg? That 2006 round It's RAV4. gonna shift 15 to 30% smoother, faster, mm -hmm. less vibration, and Reg, <laughs> <laughs> your transmission's gonna last about two to four times longer. Now, Reg, flip that around. Let's show them the flip back. Around. This right here is how good this product is under severe service intervals. That's towing, plowing snow, high heat operation. This keeps the metal parts separated, has a much higher film strength. That film is what allows your transmission not to wear out to get as hot. So when you run this stuff, you're extending the life of your transmission. So I'm extending the life of a 16-year-old car. Correct. And you're going to be getting better fuel mileage, hence fuel efficient mm -hmm. ATF fluid for domestic and imported. And this meets and exceeds all the major brand specifications right here. You'll see all those specs. And if you want to see more on it, you can actually click show more in the laptop, desktop, or if you're on a smartphone, you're going to see a teeny weeny reverse down arrow right here. Click that sucker. You'll see all the information down below, but we're going to stop squawking and get to lubing. Let's kick it off. Let's do it, coach. All right. We just got done taking off a million of these little teeny weeny screws and all these screws hold up this little belly pan. And now we're just going to go ahead and set it down. Now, this little back one seems to not come off easy. Uh, that one is, is a little weird, so we should be okay without it, but we'll see if we can just spin this to the side, which I think we're okay. So we got a little bit of corrosion. That's normal. The cars all start to rust. This is our transmission pan. And today what we're going to do is we're going to do the easiest thing in the books, and that's called the drain and fill. So a drain and fill is where you basically go right on ahead and drain this little bolt, See this bolt right here? Uh, let's see here. I'll take it for a sec, Reg. Okay. Reg is doing a great job on the camera, but we're going to tap her from a different angle. So that's our Allen key. So we just got to find out what size Allen key that is. And we're going to go right on ahead and drain the transmission pan from here. And then there's a fill spot up top, which is actually very easy to get to. And Reg is quite intrigued because he <laughs> hasn't been deep sea diving for a while. <laughs> But if you don't come down here to spot check, you don't know what you're dealing with. And over here, I think we got our transfer case. So we should be able to get to that and do another video on changing the uh, transfer case fluid. But for now, we're gonna start draining her down. Coach, what is a transfer case? A transfer case transmits the power from the motor to the rear of the car, and it can turn the power off and on. So it can go from having only front wheel power okay. to putting the torque to the rear wheels and turn it off and on. Got it. That's what that does is it transfers the torque to the very back of the car. Transfer down, down that drive shaft, down 
to the very end, which we'll be doing the transfer, the rear differential gear lube to, which we'll do another video on. Okay. All right, we got our 10 millimeter Allen key, easy as pie. We got our breaker bar. What this does makes it super easy to crack her loose. So all we do is just go right on ahead and uh, just shove her in and loosen her up. Uh, let's see here, yep, right there. And there she blows. So she's already starting to bleed and that's the lifeblood of your transmission. And that very fluid you're staring at should be this royal, beautiful cherry color. Should never turn dark. And if it does, that means it's oxidized. That means it's past due and it should already be changed. So what are we doing today? We're not letting Reg's transmission die on him, no way. We're not gonna leave him stranded. We're gonna go right on ahead and drain her down. Nice. So we're gonna start unthreading and she's gonna be a leaky little devil. And wow, does that smell? Holy crap. Oh God, that is horrible. Oh my God, is that terrible. It does smell. All right, she's getting ready to drop her nuts on the count of three. Three, two, one. And there she blows. So that's a real dark oxidized fluid. Now, Reg, how many miles does this little angel have on her? 88,000 and some change. So you're seeing 88,000 miles of ATF fluid here in Las Vegas. What was your average driving speed, Reg? Were you doing a lot of city driving? City. All right. Little freeway, so lots of city. you're seeing... Oh, my God. That smells so bad. Oh, my God, is that horrible. Wow. So you're seeing Toyota WS fluid after 80,000 city miles here in Las Vegas. The blacktop temperature is 100... Oh, shit. Gave me a little bit of a scare. 170 degree blacktop temperature in the summer. And now we're gonna set down our cork, our little plug, and we're gonna clean her up. Our crush washer looks good. We're gonna reuse her, and uh, we're gonna let her drain down. We're gonna lower the car, and then we're gonna go ahead and tighten her up, and we'll show you that in a second. All right, it's that time to use our parts cleaner. This stuff right here has tons of good punching power, and I actually refer to this as basically Niagara Falls in your hand. And you say, well, what is that like? Well, you're going to have to take a look. Let's do it. So we got our drain plug. This has a little teeny weeny magnet in it. Come down, Reg. Get a close-up of this sucker. Okay. And uh, we got a good close-up of that, Reg. And that's our standard drain plug. You got that little bit of jelly in the middle, and that's clutch material. So pull back, Reg. And now we're going to go ahead and blast her. Here we go. Let's do it. Just pull back more. Here we go. Look at that instantaneously cleaned we call that niagara falls in your hand see how clean that sucker is what was that about 0.7 seconds <laughs> watch this reg pull back watch this sucker shoot you want to talk about a squirter reg watch over here look ready three two one that's a squirter <laughs> All right, <clears throat> Reg even wanted me to mention this twice. <laughs> now this uh, Amsoil brake parts cleaner isn't like any other real aerosols out there on the market. It's got so much more punching power and inspires tons of confidence. And you say, well, even what does that look like? Well, we're gonna have to show you. So here we go. This is what we call punching power. Here we go. Wow. Look at that sucker. Wow. We call it Niagara Falls in a can. <laughs> Alrighty, we got our can, we got our concentrated stream with our straw. We're gonna go ahead and just spray the bottom of this pan. Just get her all blasted and cleaned up. We're happy with that. We're gonna take our, our paper towels. Just gonna give her a quick wipe. Oh yeah, she's smelling cleaner already. Oh, is that <laughs> strong. That is steel round. Now, what are you going to do with the old transmission fluid? That's a great question, Reg. That actually gets recycled. Okay. But in the meantime, we're going to put on our drain bolt. Got it. And all we do is thread her on by hand. Okay. We can shove this pan back. And it should be super easy to thread on. She's so nice and clean. We kept our crush washer the same way she came off. So we got absolutely nothing to fret about. 
And now we come with a small hand wrench. We don't even need the big breaker bar. And these don't even need to be tightened that tight. They're only about 30 pounds. These are a very light aluminum pan. You can actually bend this pan if you go too tight. So we're gonna go right about 30 pounds, right there. And I'm happy with that. All right, we got our MP metal protector. What this is, this is a penetrating oil, helps loosen sticky bolts, helps drive out moisture, and uh, you know what's great about it? Stops squeaks and all kinds of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice fresh can and we're gonna go ahead and hit all this rust. Now you'd say, how did it get so rusty? I don't know, but we're gonna start treating it. So we're gonna get all in this frame rail, all in this split are all our hardware bolts. And this is gonna make it a lot easier if Reggie ever gets work done on his car in the future, he'll be able to get this easily, um, the hardware taken off a lot easier. So all these little screws and bolts, you can hit them all. Even the tran bolts is good. And it's not gonna hurt anything. Anything metal's good. And now we're gonna hit some sweet spots. And you say, well, what the hell's that? Right here, this is a linkage that actually, when he shifts the transmission from park reverse drive, that's the linkage. And that's very important to keep that from corroding. So we're gonna get that nice and wet. We're gonna go up here into the hoses. Some of these clamps are messed up. So it's just so important to keep all this metal protected. And if you live somewhere in like Boston or New York City, they actually make an HD metal protector. It actually has a thick red wax in it and that allows it to put this awesome heavy coating on the metal. And uh, it's just such a next, 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 next level product. So if you're ready for that next level, that's what you'd want to do. But today, we're not going to do that with Reggie. He's not ready yet because he's not in Boston. We're just here in Las Vegas. So we're just going to make sure we do this. Now, my 59 Cadillac DeVille right here, Sedan DeVille, this car here, we actually did everything on the Putty Cat. And uh, if you want to see everything on her, check out this playlist up here in the corner. You'll love what we did to her. Even when you use the metal protector, the MP, Amswell yeah. metal protector that's uh -huh. in your hand, yeah. is, does it really get rid of the rust or is it a band-aid? Is the rust going to come back? That's a darn good question, Reg. So this is basically like a band-aid, but if the band-aid doesn't come off, you're not going to have any more rust. But over time, it does come off. Cinders, uh, spray, salt spray is going to hit underneath the car, especially if you live somewhere back east. And what's going to happen, it's going to wear off that coating. Once it does, your Band-Aid just came off, you're back exposed to getting a disease, anything. And that rust is going to continue. But if you put the MPHD, the one above this on, it's going to put a much thicker film. You're not going to have to hit it as often. And uh, not that hitting it's not a good thing, but it's going to be less time wasted going in there and doing all that. But the MP metal protector will help it slow it down. And um, the only way to get rid of it is to cut it out. And that's like cancer. They call it uh, rust or cancer. You have to cut it out. Now, enough with that. Now let's grab a funnel and let's go ahead and empty out this uh, fluid. We're going to show you what it looks like. So we got our funnel here. You can step back, Reg, a little bit. Okay. And this is our old ATF fluid. We're going to let you see what it looks like. It should be about 3.7 quarts. And this is what we call the liquid chocolate on the channel. And this is what you don't want in your car. You don't want black, black, black ATF fluid. Um, you know you're oxidized. And um, it's pretty soupy looking. Soupy means it got thicker. The more it thickens, it oxidizes, the less it circulates in the cold. And uh, we're actually going to show a little video clip of the WS fluid. So you can see that's pretty ugly. But now I want you to see the AMS oil compared to the uh, Toyota WS fluid. Check out this video clip. Who it will be. Let the cold flow begin. AMS oil versus Lexus WS. Negative 55F. Negative 55.2F. Here we go.
Wow, absolutely gorgeous. Well, Amsoil is the winner. Now, let's do a little test with the turbo flow example going through a uh, transmission filter. All right, we're back after one minute. So now we're gonna have a nice example of, uh, well, how this fluid would flow through a transmission filter when it's cold. I'm sure you've experienced a cold start or a cold shift and the transmission just doesn't seem to catch up. Well, we're gonna demonstrate that right now. So let's see what we got. Negative 49 F, negative 49.0 F. Here we go. This is our little uh, filter demonstration. The fluid going through a transmission filter. So you can see the AMS oil is getting through that filter pretty good. So right now that transmission would be shifting. Now this Toyota, however, probably not going anywhere. So now for what we refer to the old stick in the mud example. Take a look. So we're going to take our screwdriver and we're going to see if it sticks in there like a stick in the mud. Boop. There it is. <laughs> That's what we call the old stick in the mud. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. All right, it's that time to put in the liquid cherry. Now, before we put this in, which feels so good to do, we're gonna go ahead and tell you about how it's different. Now, AMS oil is 100% synthetic. They're actually the very first to make synthetic motor oil in 1972. They're the first to make synthetic transmission fluid and the first to make synthetic gear lube. Now, if you think of this, this would be like your synthetic blend or your full synthetic. This is 10% juice. And basically that's what they do is they water down all these fluids and that's why they don't flow as well. That's why you don't have as much wear protection. And it's basically built in uh, insurance that your transmission will fail. Now, as I was saying the Reg, if you drove this sucker, another 20,000 miles, he would have probably wrecked his transmission. It would have overheated and uh, that could have been it. And it's an exponential process. It's called thermal runaway. It's where the film breaks down, becomes metal on metal. And now we're gonna talk about how these different molecules look differently. So if you think of this right here, this would be our mineral oil, all different size shapes. And this is basically refined oil out of the earth. It's not synthetic. And that's what they water down the synthetic with. They put all these different jagged shapes and rocks in. Now this right here would be our 100% synthetic. All almost the same size, same shape. This doesn't allow the carbon backbone to attach to as easily. So it's a lot harder for it to thicken. It's a lot harder for it to burn off. And it also has less friction, which will get you better fuel mileage. And it'll also circulate a lot better in the cold, which up to 80% of the wear on your motor actually occurs during the cold start, especially if you live somewhere colder. Now, a lot of people think a cold start is only when it's cold out, which it's not. The cold start is the next day you start your car after all the oil settles down in the oil pan. It has to be recirculated. So the AMS oil keeps this stronger film and that film is what keeps the metal parts separated and you're able to go double the severe service interval of the OEM fluid with this fluid. So if you're doing city driving and this car calls for changing the transmission fluid every, let's just say 30,000 city miles, you would be able to go double that with this fluid because it can handle the high heat oxidation. Now, if this was my personal car, I would actually change the ATF fluid on it about every uh, 30,000 miles. If I was doing all city driving, I would do it every 20,000. Now, when you change this fluid, you can't change it all at once. This is actually 8.6 quarts total fill, but the initial fill is what came out. That's what's in the pan, not the torque converter and the pan. So that is about 3.7 quarts. So we're gonna start putting in this fluid. So Reg, 
Okay. We're going to give you the honors. Okay. We're going to let you snip the tip. All right. So I want snip you to take these, yeah. take these uh, snips. Okay. Give them a close up over here, Reg. Okay. Show them what you're up to. I'm going to snip, snip right. A little lower. 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 Right there, Reg. Right there. And give it a little bit of an angle. And trust yourself, Reg. I'm trusting myself. Beautiful job, Reg. Got it. Set the scissors, Don. Okay. This is Reg's first time handling an easy pack. It is. Now, don't let these suckers intimidate you. You can hold it with just one finger. Also, they're good for about 1,100 pounds of pressure, so they're not going to bust on you. <laughs> at least not at the right time. And so now, Reg, take that cap off, and we're going to go ahead and get you to... Uh, we're going to handle this sucker and I'm going to give them a close up and that way they can see exactly what we're doing. Now we so, have the little yep, white so top. Yeah, so go ahead and Rich, you can puncture that with the cap. What about? So where's the cap? The cap flew over there. Uh, the cap is right here. Yep, we got it here. Puncture it with the cap. So take that sucker and just okay. jab it in there okay. and it'll just puncture ah, it. come on. Oh, we got butter fingers. <laughs> and Reg has got butter fingers. And glove fingers. Yep, now these rubbers are reusable. We've gone green. We actually letting Reg reuse my rubbers. <laughs> <laughs> Sloppy seconds. Yep, nothing like it. And I tell you what, <laughs> once you get it hot and wet, it's always one shoy bet. <laughs> and I say on the channel, the wetter the better. That's what we got right here on the kitty cat. And if you haven't seen her, she is hard to get in the beginning, but now she's easy. So Reg, you okay. got her all popped in. Okay. Go ahead and uh, why don't you and squirt? And it has a little easy handle. Yeah. Here. Squirt. Put that on and show how easy it is to squirt the liquid cherry. Okay. So you're gonna get a chance if Reg doesn't drop it for the fourth time. For the fourth time. You're gonna see Reg be squirting the liquid cherry. I didn't know you were counting, Coach. Yep. Oh yeah. We, <laughs> okay. We got dibs on it. Okay. We got our teeny weeny funnel. Super easy to use. Okay. We can get this anywhere. We took our dipstick out. Our dipstick's right here, and that's the fill spot. And well, Reg, you know what to do. Go ahead. Okay. Start pouring in the liquid cherry. Let's do the liquid cherry. Whoops. Look at how beautiful that is, Reggie. It, ooh. See wow. how clean, oh how clear. God. It's almost untouchable. Wow. But it is. Look at how beautiful that film is. Wow. And this film is unbelievable. How much of a film it puts on the metal, keeping the metal parts separated. Now, what I was saying earlier about the bus, and Reggie and I were both joking around making jokes, <laughs> but I always say on the channel that there's people that actually climb over mountains, scuba dive under seas, and some even drool on buses <laughs> to get their hands on a quart of this Signature Series ATF fluid. I called it liquid gold. Yep, so Reg, weren't you saying something about the bus? What did you say about it? You said you took the bus before? Uh, yes, I took the bus and I've had lots of bus passes. Now the question is, Reg, watch yourself, Reg. Okay. Getting a little sloppy with it. Okay. But if it ain't fun, it ain't messy. And if it ain't messy, it ain't fun. That's why the wetter the better. Now the question was though, Reg. We were talking would about you having rather, transmissions yeah, just, that go out and you'd you wind up on the bus. <laughs> yeah, would you rather have your car running, Reg, or would you rather take the bus? I'd rather have my car uh, running because having bus passes leaves a lot to be desired. All right. So there you hold it from someone with experience. So, Reg, we're going to keep filling her up until we get our whole 3.7 quarts in. But we're going to only put in three quarts to begin with. We're going to get her nice and hot, check our uh, dipstick, and then we'll go from there. Look at Reg. He's trying to cut the cap and the tip. Reg is very experimental. <laughs> hey, we're going to go ahead and motor her up. Let's start her up, Reg. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is, Reg, go ahead and uh, put her in um, reverse, but keep your foot on the brake. In reverse, foot on yep. the brake. And we're going to let her idle for a second in reverse. Okay. And right now, all the fluid is circulating through the torque converter. So you'll see Reg's car. And you can actually check out the engine flush we did on this car back about, what, almost a year ago, Reg, right? In, two, in May, it will be a year ago. All right, it'll be almost a year. So check out that video up here in the corner where we do that engine flush. But now, Reg, go ahead and put her in drive. Okay, in drive. Yep. All right. So now it's circulating that fluid to the torque converter. Circulate, circulate. Let's see, what is our temperature? Is she still cold right now? It's cold. So she's cold. So now, 
We've let her circulate for a minute or two. Throw her back in park, Reg. Back in park. All right. All right, we got Reg's car nice and hot. Come on in, take a look. We're gonna yank our dipstick. So I'm gonna show you, we got her idling in park. We're gonna pull our dipstick. And we'll show you what she looks like. Looks a lot better than before. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe her up. And we'll show you exactly where she's at. We got 3.3 quarts in. And uh, it'll be cool to see what she looks like. Now, the ATF fluid expands when it's hot and it shrinks when it's cold. So you always put it in just like that, let it snap all the way down. And the good thing is we got a dipstick. A lot of these new cars don't have one. And now we're right here at the very top. If you want to take a look, Reg, up close, you see the fluid comes right to here. Absolutely perfection, right there at the hot mark. And we put in exactly 3.3 quarts and uh, we'll be coming back doing a follow-up. Now, Coach, you, yeah. you said that my car has a dipstick. Yeah, the transmission dipstick. The yeah. transmission. But yeah. most new cars, newer cars, don't have... Correct. They're called sealed transmissions. And a lot of mechanics, they say that to try to scare you, which you kind of should be scared. I'm just kidding. You don't need to be scared at all. So um, how can you check the fluid levels? It actually has an overflow plug. So basically, you fill that sucker up until it overflows. Once it's at the right temperature and it's hot enough, it just starts splooging out the top. Once you let it drain down enough, whoop, you just cork it off and you know it's full. But if you want to see more on sealed transmissions, go ahead and check out this playlist, this little thing up here in the corner. I want you to watch that. You'll get a kick out of all the different types of sealed transmissions. All right, we got 80,000, 88,000, and we went about a half a block in red. Uh, anything yet? It feels good. One reason it feels good because to know that there's new transmission fluid in here and all the old oxidized, that's the word I learned from Coach, and all the old oxidized fluid is out. But it feels good, Coach. Really, I can, I can feel it picking up. I can feel it picking up with a little bit of effort. All right. So now we, good. we changed only three quarts of 8.6 quarts, which is in the whole transmission. So if you actually drop the pan, which on some transmissions you can do a pan drop, and you actually change the transmission filter. Now a lot of the um, newer cars, like CVT transmissions, we're gonna make a left up here, they actually don't have a filter to change. All it is is a drain and fill. So on those, it's even more important on an economy car like that to change that um, fluid. And on this car, you can fortunately, you can actually change the fluid because it has that drain bolt. Now some trans pans don't even have a bolt. You have to take the whole pan off just to drain it. So we got very lucky with Reggie's car. We had minimal uh, effort. So now the detergents and the signature series are gonna clean those clutch packs. It's gonna continue to shift and run better. Now we'll get some shifts for you. Okay, here we go. Ooh, ooh, look how it picks up. I love it. Now we're going to turn left or right up here. We're going to stay straight. Stay so straight. If you want, you can do that. Just watch yourself. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Ooh. Ooh, I love it. It's, Is it shifting a little yes. different? Way, yes. It just, wow. It just glides like a Batmobile. Wow. <laughs> so up here, we're going to get another stop and start. We'll be right back. All right, we got an update with Reg. What were you saying, Reg? Wow. We had a... A complete stop. All right. And I can feel how quiet it is under me. I'm not talking about noise from the engine. I'm talking about it is quiet under me. I love it like a magic carpet ride. I love it. So <laughs> what, what he's talking about is now the torque converter is actually having less friction. And so now we can, we can go. Want to go? Uh, yeah, we'll do a start. We'll go from a, a complete stop. Okay. And we'll let you see it shift. Okay. So... We had a complete stop. Yep. And we'll let you see it shift, shift for shift. And here we go. Yep. I'm going to do the speed limit of 45 yep. miles an hour. Yep. And we'll be coming to a lot. Ooh! Wow. Ooh! It just, it just shift without shifting, if that makes sense, folks. Wow. Wow! All right, well, now we got a red light. Okay. We're going to have to give you from a total standstill. About we'll three be, minutes. We'll be right back three minutes later. Good. All right, we're starting from a stop. 
You know what, Coach? I'm starting to get Let some zero. Let him hear it. Okay, here we go. Wow. Wow, this car can get away from you. So how are those shifts different, Reg? They're different as daylight and night. Wow. <laughs> what is the biggest difference? Is that it's just smooth. You don't, you don't even hear the car when it shifts. Usually you can hear the car when it shifts. Now it just smooths like zero to 60 in five seconds. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to do a follow-up with Reg's car. We're going to be do, coming back, and we're going to be doing another drain and fill to get more of that old fluid out so it runs better. We're going to be doing the rear diff, uh, differential, gear lube. We're going to be doing the transfer case uh, gear lube. We're also going to be doing the coolant. Nice. So uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Tap that notification bell. That way you can come back and watch loads more videos. Thumbs up. We're going to stay straight, Reg. Yep. And uh, also... Remember to leave that comment if you want to be in the end of month giveaway, which we do every last Saturday of the month. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to know. If you have any questions, any question for Reggie, leave that question. Reggie's a big time uh, Vegas comedian, so he loves it here in town. It's great to have him on the channel. And uh, well, if you want to see more on Reggie's car, check out this video here in the middle. And uh, check out and subscribe with this icon here. And we will see you back. I'm going to go ahead and chuck these deuces. Deuces! I love it, Rich. We'll see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection. Thanks, Rich. You're the best. You're the best, coach. Thanks.